Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well. In today's new YouTube video, I am sharing styling tips and ways to wear mini skirts. Before we get started, I wanted to quickly introduce myself. So hello, my name is Patricia and I upload loads of fashion and styling content here on my YouTube channel, including styling tips, ways to wear, how to styles, outfit ideas, and so much more. So if that's your kind of thing and if you want to see more from me, then please do subscribe to my channel. It's completely free to subscribe and it just means you will stay up to date with my upcoming uploads and you won't miss any future videos. And for even more daily style inspiration, head over to Instagram and give me a follow. I'm at Peekso on Instagram and I share daily outfit ideas, get dressed with me videos and loads more as well. So for even more from me, follow me on Instagram. So let's get going with today's video. Today's focus is on styling tips and ways to wear mini skirts. Styling tip number one is to style with shirts. So let's get straight into the outfits here. Outfit number one is a neutral vibes outfit. This is a perfect outfit for spring and summer time in my opinion. I am definitely feeling the call of spring and summer and I'm just so excited for spring and summer styling coming up. So this is an outfit that serves as inspiration for that. I'm wearing a classic white shirt. This is a linen style shirt which is always a bit more lightweight and for that reason I think it's a much nicer one for spring and summer because it's lightweight, breathable and airy. I've styled this along with a white mini skirt and I personally love these colour combinations. I think they're so light and bright and airy and perfect for spring and summer. So it's a really simple outfit combination. With my accessories is what I've used to dress up the outfit a little bit, I would say. I feel like this would be such a good outfit for even like the beach, but in this instance, I've styled it for the city, so for life in London, and I'm wearing a round wicker basket bag, which is just perfection. Absolutely love a basket bag. And then I have styled this with some two-tone designer dupe shoes here. It just ties in the look together really nicely without including too many colors, too many prints. It's a really simple, basic outfit, which I love. For outfit number two, we've got a twist on the classic shirt. So rather than all of these being button down shirt ideas, here we have a shirt that isn't necessarily a common type of shirt or a classic style of shirt. Instead, it's a shirt with a bit more of an edge to it. So as you can tell, it's a one shoulder number. It's got no button details along the front, but it's still that shirt material. And it actually also has a shirt sleeve. So like one entire shirt sleeve where you've even got the cuff detail on the sleeves, which I think is so nice. It's like I said, an edgy style of shirt to wear. And I've equally styled this with a edgy skirt as well. So this is a bright pink mini skirt, another one that is perfect for upcoming springtime and upcoming pops of colour. I've then styled this with a pair of white ankle boots to tie in the white shirt and the ankle boots and just really have the pop of colour with the skirt. Now this is a slightly edgier take on shirt styling, slightly less classic, but in my opinion still very wearable. And the final outfit here, we've gone back to the classic button down shirt, but this time a blue and white striped one. I actually think this look is incredibly summery in my opinion. So I've got the blue denim skirt, which I feel like a denim skirt is almost a bit of a throwback, but I personally love it. And I don't think it's an exclusive one for holiday either. I think it's perfect in the city as well, as you can see with this outfit. For accessories, I've decided to go for just a classic black bag, nothing too statement. It's just a really simple over the shoulder bag and then a pair of classic white trainers. These are the Asia Espla trainers, which I just think work really beautifully with this outfit in terms of keeping it simple and keeping it classic. What I really wanted to do with these outfits is banish the idea of school uniform. I don't know about you, but I went to a school with school uniform. I think most schools in the UK do have school uniforms, especially like primary school and secondary school. So for both of those, I wore school uniform throughout, and so it's a shirt and a skirt combination. So growing up, when I put both of these two pieces together, I really want it to look as far removed from school uniform as possible. So hopefully these outfits show you that it's pretty easy to achieve. 
leave. Styling tip number two is to choose denim. I've already showed you a denim skirt outfit idea and you can see how easy it is to style a denim skirt in the city but I wanted to give this a category on its own because I do think the denim skirt gets a little bit of a bad rep to be honest with you. In my opinion there's something about a denim skirt that I think is always so classic and so perfect especially for summery months. So for my first outfit here I've got a city inspired look. I'm wearing a classic blue denim mini skirt here and actually I don't know how well you can tell but it's got more of a like washed denim look and feel to it which I think is incredibly summery. So dressing this for more of a city outfit was slightly more challenging. However nothing that can't be achieved. So I decided to pair this with a striped top. This is just a very classic striped top. I actually think this is navy and white stripes though but still really love that sort of nautical theme it brings. And then I'm wearing a navy blazer. If you want to dress up any sort of outfit for the city, go for a blazer. As soon as you wear a blazer over the top, I think the outfit is instantly elevated and you can see exactly that through this outfit. And then for my footwear and accessories, I've gone for a pair of classic black ankle boots and a classic black bag as well. So really simple items. All of these items very much basics and classics to have in your wardrobe, but so easily styled in the city. Back in knitwear with my second look, here I'm wearing a khaki green high neck jumper. High neck jumpers are just my all time favourite style of jumper to wear. Paired with a denim white mini skirt which I think is again stepping out of the comfort zone but I really love it. And then once again with this look I've gone for the dark accessories so a bit more suited for the city. A pair of black ankle boots, a black belt and then a black bag on the shoulder as well. And once again you can see how easy it is to incorporate a white denim mini skirt into your city outfit. Outfit. and this I would actually say is a perfect outfit as you are transitioning from summer into autumn time so whilst we're not quite there at the moment it's definitely an outfit that I will be reaching for come autumn time so in a few months time and I just love how it looks I think it's perfect for the city but equally if you take away those black accessories it's perfect for a summer holiday as well I really think a denim mini skirt does a lot of work in your wardrobe styling tip number three is to style with blazers. I've done a lot of chatting about making these outfits perfect for the city and a blazer is quite simply the easiest way to do this. So outfit number one is a really recent outfit of mine actually. Here I'm wearing a camel coloured blazer over a matching camel slash beige coloured high neck jumper like a wool blend knitted style which is perfect for the winter months. I've styled this with a black mini skirt tights and then I'm wearing black socks and chunky loafers. When I posted this photo on Instagram loads of people commented saying I love your boots, I love your boots but they're not boots, they're actually chunky loafers paired with black socks which sort of give that illusion of a boot I suppose but they're actually a chunky loafer. So I think that's a really cool way to be able to style your loafers now like when it's still a little bit cold. So when it comes to styling your loafers think about adding socks to the looks because I think it looks really quite cool and it's it's perfect for the weather right now. My next outfit is an all black look. You can't go wrong with all black, can you? I do love this kind of outfit. I'm wearing a classic black blazer, a black top, a black mini skirt. This is more of a floaty style mini skirt though, as opposed to being a really straight up and down or A-line style of skirt. This is definitely more of a like floaty and flowy feminine style of skirt. Then I've got on a pair of white and black shoes. I love shoes like this in the springtime. I think they're such a nice addition to your wardrobe and I love how it looks here paired with a mini skirt. I do think this is the first outfit I've shared with shoes as opposed to boots. I mean I'm a boot lover. I do love wearing boots but in this instance you can see that it looks just as good paired with a pair of shoes like these as well. The final outfit is actually not too dissimilar to the one I just shared with you. Again I'm wearing a black top, that same black floaty mini skirt but this time I I've got on a pair of knee-high boots and my blazer of choice is a grey check one instead. I mean when you get a strong base of an outfit, essentially an all black outfit base, you can really experiment when it comes to outerwear and accessories to create multiple different looks. I would say the previous look can actually be slightly more casual thanks to the footwear but in this look where we've added the knee-high boots it's instantly a bit more elevated and a bit more of like a strong look which I think would be perfect for 
a nighttime occasion or a dinner or something along those lines. Styling tip number four is to style with boots. Honestly, I could have broken this down into various different subcategories, but I decided to stick to boots as a category on its own. So you'll be seeing a mix of different style of boots here, but I wanted to keep it concise because trust me, I could talk about boots for a very long time. And one thing I want you to keep an eye out on is how different my legs look depending on the style of boots I'm wearing, because I really think that the boots you choose will completely transform the way you look. So starting with this outfit and the ankle boots, you can see quite a lot of leg on show, but I think my legs just look a normal length. They don't necessarily look elongated, but they don't look too short either. They just look normal in my opinion. So I'm wearing quite a colorful outfit actually. I've got on a yellow knitted jumper, a check mini skirt, and then black ankle boots with a black shoulder bag as well. This is definitely an outfit that I think would be perfect transitioning from summer into autumn, but even now transitioning from winter into springtime. I just think it's really nice and colorful, but still quite warm as well. But it's nice to have your legs on show here because it's really a nod to the seasons changing in my opinion. And as you can see, with ankle boots here you've got quite a bit of leg on show which then leads us on to outfit number two and the second style of boots this time knee-high boots I have a whole styling tips and ways to wear video on knee-high boots I've also done a how to style knee-high boots video as well I've got a lot of videos on the knee-high boots on my channel so definitely check those out if you're after some more styling inspiration for knee-high boots in particular but for this outfit here I'm wearing a cream high neck jumper paired with a black pleated mini skirt. This is the first time we see the pleated mini skirt make its appearance. And then for footwear and accessories, I've gone for a brown shoulder bag and my brown suede knee-high boots. So comparing this outfit to the previous outfit with ankle boots, you can see that when I'm wearing the knee-high boots, the legs look longer. It definitely helps to elongate your legs. It's the perfect mid-range style of boot in my opinion because you've still got a fair amount of leg on show but you've also helped to elongate your leg with the help of knee-high boots. It's a very simple tip. Moving on to the final outfit and the final style of boots, we have over the knee boots. I feel like I don't speak about over the knee boots enough actually. I talk about knee high boots all the time but over the knee boots kind of have taken a bit of a back seat I have to be honest. So let me know if you want to see a more dedicated video on styling over the knee boots. I can definitely work on that. But here we have another outfit that consists of a mini skirt. This time it's a yellow check mini skirt, which is a super cute color combination for autumn time, paired with a black roll neck top and then a black bag as well. And so for the final comparison of over the knee boots compared to the previous look, which was knee high boots and the one before that, which was ankle boots, I think it's safe to say over the knee boots give you the illusion of longest legs. So for example, if you are more petite, you're probably going to want to choose an over the knee boot over ankle boots, for example, because ankle boots can make your legs look a little shorter and stubbier, whereas an over the knee high boot is going to elongate your leg. It's just really illusions, basically, that you can create with the different types of footwear. So when it comes to wearing and styling boots with mini skirts, you should choose the style of boot that flatters your figure. Although with that said, I do think that fashion is subjective and honestly just wear what you like to wear. I always feel really conflicted when I speak about particular items of clothing or particular pieces that are more flattering per se because honestly I just think you should wear what whatever makes you happy. I really don't think it matters what's in, what's trendy, what you should or shouldn't wear. I just don't think that matters. You should wear what makes you happy. You should wear what makes you feel good and there should be no like right or wrong when it comes to it in my opinion. So I do feel a little bit conflicted saying that but if you are out there and looking for some tips on how to maybe elongate your legs then hopefully you found that helpful. Styling tip number five is to wear tights. I love 
tights. I didn't like tights at all. Once again, tights used to be an item of clothing that just reminded me so much of my school days and my school uniform. So I rarely ever wore tights, but I am living in tights right now. I don't know what I'd do without tights throughout the winter months. I just love how they look. I love a slightly sheer material of tights as well. So I don't like anything too thick or too dark. I like something that is a little bit sheer so you can still see some of your leg popping through, I suppose, but I'm just a big fan of tights nowadays. So for outfit number one, I have a very wintry outfit idea. I'm wearing a white cozy teddy style coat with a white high neck jumper, black mini skirt, black sheer tights and black knee high boots. I really love a look like this. It's definitely one of my go-tos and something that I love wearing throughout the winter months when it's a little bit colder, but maybe you're bored of wearing jeans and trousers and that sort of thing. You want something a little bit different and a mini skirt paired with tights is perfect alternative. Then for outfit number two, we're moving into the prince category. So here I'm wearing, actually I'm wearing a white high neck jumper again. This time it's more of a fluffy knit, but I don't know if you'll be able to tell the difference. So I have then styled that with a skirt with some sort of like asymmetric lines going on like a geometric style almost just something a little more interesting I guess as opposed to just a plain black skirt and then I've gone the extra mile here and styled this with polka dot tights you don't have to print clash like I've done here you can go for something more simple if you want to this is just purely showing you the tights the fact that you can wear plain tights or pattern tights whichever you choose I personally am a big fan of polka dot tights so with the rest of the outfit I've gone for black ankle boots and a black bag. A very simple outfit. Yes, there's a bit of print clashing going on, but that's very easy to change if that's not your sort of thing. Then for outfit number three, we've got the first look at a two-piece going on here. So I'm wearing a grey check mini skirt and cropped blazer combo. I suppose this is quite a fresh and current take on a classic suit, basically. I've then styled this with a white roll neck top, just a really basic item to have and then with printed tights these tights are actually heart printed I don't know how well you can tell but these have hearts all along them which I absolutely adore I actually styled these recently in a date night outfits ideas video as well and I just fell in love with them all over again because I haven't worn my heart printed tights in a really really long time the rest of the look is once again a simple look with a black bag and black ankle boots here styling tip number six is to style with cross outerwear. As a mini skirt is a short skirt essentially I always think it's really nice to show it off with cropped outerwear as opposed to going for something long line that will just completely cover it up and swallow it up I do think it can be quite nice to instead opt for some outerwear that is cropped so for outfit number one I've got on a brown teddy coat this is such a like cozy trucker style brown teddy coat cropped as you can see I've styled this with a jumper and and then that yellow check mini skirt once again and then brown suede ankle boots so it's very much an autumnal outfit with those sort of earthy tones that I always associate to autumn time and it's just a really nice way to have your skirt still out and still on show and not completely swallowed up or covered up by longer coats. Obviously, when talking about cropped outerwear, I have to mention the biker jackets because I do really love wearing and styling biker jackets. I just think they're so cool and I can't wait to bring mine out again for springtime. I really do love wearing a biker jacket in the spring, so I'm pretty sure mine will be coming out and making its appearance really soon. So I've styled this, actually just worn over the shoulders, which in my opinion is the fashion girl way of wearing, wearing a coat. I just, oh, I love how it looks. Here I styled it over the top of a red jumper, a black mini skirt. I don't know how well you can tell, but this is a black denim mini skirt as well. So we've got that denim styling tip trend coming in yet again here through this outfit. I'm wearing a pair of over the knee boots and then a classic black bag. So this outfit is a true mix. So we've got the over the knee boots, we've got the biker jacket, we've got the denim mini skirt, the red, just lots of different pops, but still I think this outfit is very wearable. And then for my third and final outfit in this styling tip, we have the cropped faux fur. Now whilst I don't think faux fur is as popular as it once was, 
I know that it will most likely come back around and come back into style without a shadow of a doubt and I still get a lot of wear out of my cropped faux fur jackets in particular this one this khaki green one has just it's really done its work in my wardrobe I wear and style it so much so here I've styled it in a wintry outfit idea I'm wearing a roll neck top I've also got a hat on here as well so very much winter vibes I've got a pleated check red style skirt with tights these are my heart print tights and then a pair of black ankle boots it's definitely a wintry outfit and it's just all about the layers with this look we've got different prints we've got different styles but it's definitely a layered up look for winter styling tip number seven is to style with cohorts I knew I had to include cohorts as a styling tip on its own because I just think it's one of the easiest and coolest ways to wear skirts so for my first outfit here I've got a classic cohort of a crop top and mini skirt I actually think when you think about crop tops and mini skirts you associate them with summer styling but here as you can see it's very much styled for winter alternatively so I'm wearing a roll neck top just a basic long sleeve top which I have on under my crop top my crop top has just buttoned up over the top of this which works really nicely it's a great way to be able to wear sleeveless pieces earlier so pairing them with a basic like a roll neck top is such a good hack and then I've got the matching mini skirt on I've gone for a pair of sheer tights black knee high boots a black bag and then a white long coat here you can see the difference between styling a coat with cropped outerwear where the skirt is on show or a long coat as I have done here which basically the outfit is not so much on show so it almost covers up the look whereas a cropped jacket becomes a part of the look if that makes sense but either way I still love this look I wore this outfit fairly recently like a month ago I think I did really love this outfit idea I do really love this outfit it's a really nice way to be able to wear your crop top and mini skirts cohorts throughout the winter months as well just layering up the basics underneath and then for my second look rather than being a top and skirt cohort it's instead a jacket and skirt cohort I actually really love a jacket and a skirt cohort because you can break them up you can wear them as a combo of course but you can also break it up and wear the jacket separately and then wear the skirt separately so they're great ways to get the most out of your money and the most wear out of the clothes in your wardrobe but in this instance I have on this check black and white mini skirt which I absolutely adore and then I have the matching jacket over the top this jacket is actually super chic and super luxurious it's got really nice like large pearl detail buttons as well it's very much a bougie cord in my opinion I styled this with a white high neck jumper knee high boots yet again tights and a bag so very much monochrome keeping things black and white here but so simple and such an easy outfit to put together as the weather starts getting warmer I can ditch the tights go for shoes instead I can ditch the roll neck and go for a racer back for example it's just a really easy way to put together an outfit if you're a little bit unsure about how to style mini skirts and how to put outfits together featuring mini skirts then choosing a cohort like a pre-designed a pre-made cohort it's such an easy way to tick off those outfits for my final styling tip it's a good one hopefully you've made it this far because this is probably my favorite styling tip so styling tip number eight is to go tonal one of my first ever styling tips video was actually a styling tips for tonal outfits this really is something that I just love doing with my clothing and with my outfits I really do adore it and I think it works so well with a mini skirt as well so outfit number one we've gone pink tones here as I'm sure you can tell I'm wearing a light pink flowy top paired with a pink mini skirt and then I've got on burgundy heels and a matching bag but as you can see the tones of this outfit are very much the pinks the warm pink tones are super girly perfect for like springtime it's just really really cute I think if ever you have a skirt that you're not quite sure how to style regardless of whatever color 
color it may be, go for a similar color, either the exact same color if you can find the exact color match, or something similar like I've done here. So obviously the pink of the top isn't exactly the same as the pink of the skirt, but they still complement each other really, really beautifully. And then for accessories, because I don't have all pink accessories naturally, I've gone for something in the same color family with a burgundy, and I just love how this looks. It's one of the easiest and most stylish ways to wear your mini skirts. My second outfit here is green. So I'm wearing a green high neck jumper, a green sequined mini skirt. So this is definitely one that's perfect for like party season or date night, something along those lines. And then once again, because I don't have green accessories, I've gone for black, which I think with the sequin skirt actually works really beautifully and ties in the whole look together so nicely. I can't tell you how much I like styling green in a tonal outfits. I don't know what it is about green and green clothes and green outfits, but I just think they look really chic and really cool and just so elegant as well so again really easy to do so and in this case it's not a plain skirt it's a sequin skirt so you have to think about like prints and patterns and you don't want to clash with the sequins for example so going for something basic like a knitted top in the same sort of green tones is such a simple way to style your green sequin mini skirt next up we're moving on to gray tones so here i have a gray knitted jumper just a classic knitwear and then this is paired with a check grey mini skirt. So I've shown you a plain skirt, I've shown you a sequin skirt and now we're moving on to a printed skirt just so that you can see really how easy it is to go tonal regardless of the type of skirt you've got going on whether it's printed, whether it's patterned, whether it's a different material. It's so easy to go tonal with the outfit. So for the finishing touches and the finishing accessories I don't have grey accessories so I've gone for black, black ankle boots and a black bag but it just goes to show how simple it is to go tonal with your outfits. Honestly, if you're ever unsure, if you're ever stuck on what to pair with a particular item of clothing, whether it be a mini skirt, a midi skirt, a dress, literally anything, just look for similar colours, pick out similar tones so that you can match the outfit to those tones. And last but by no means least, I had to share an all black outfit because there is nothing easier than going for all black and this outfit will really show you just that. I'm wearing a black blazer Blazer, a boucle style blazer, a black roll neck top, my pleated faux leather mini skirt, black tights, black knee high boots and a black bag. When talking about tonal outfits I do think that colours are probably a bit better suited however there's nothing wrong with going tonal with an all black outfit. I still think it does the job. All black, all white, all cream, all beige. They're neutrals but they're still very much easy to wear and style with a tonal sort of look. They always look put together, they always look great. As I mentioned already regardless of the style, the pattern, the print, the fabric. If you go tonal and if you pick out a matching colour, the outfit, in my opinion, is always going to look good. So there you have it. Those are my styling tips and ways to wear mini skirts. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Let me know what you would like to see me film next for my styling tips and ways to wear series and also make sure you check out my whole how to style playlist. I will leave the link in a card. It's on one of these sides, I always forget. Have a watch of my how to style playlist as well because I have loads of styling tips, ways to wear and how to style videos on there already, literally years worth of content. So definitely check that out for even more styling tips and ways to wear. But do leave a comment down below letting me know if there is anything else you would like to see. A very big thank you for watching today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you are not already subscribed and I will see you all very soon in my next video. As always, a big thank you for watching and I will see you all soon. Bye.